Well, it's officially rainy season here, and while I was going to film and show you all the progress that I made yesterday, uh, we got some rain here, so we can show you what the actual issue is with the roof. And this is great, because we figured out exactly what we need to do now. Evie's getting the downspout cleared, and then the next sunny day we're going to patch that roof. I was using this to clean it out and the pipe is just jammed up into that hole so when I put pressure on it, it just popped out and sprayed water all over me. This was stuck in there. Okay guys, today is a nice sunny day and Evan has been up here scoping out the roof to see what the issue is from up top. We were initially thinking that it was probably a hole in the cement from the large pool of water that collects here in this corner because this downspout was clogged. But actually, we stuck this little piece of metal through from the ceiling of the garage and it came up here right by the flashing of this wall. So this seems to be our culprit. While Evan's up here taking care of the leak today, we're also gonna take down this monstrosity. It's got these metal pipes attached to it but they literally just come off the roof and were sawed off at some point so they can easily be removed. The same goes for this PVC pipe that Evan discovered has some electrical wiring inside of it. We didn't know where that PVC pipe ended up, but when we push this flashing back, we can see that it's here also sawed off. There's actually two sawed off pieces of PVC pipe that end back here in this forgotten corner of the courtyard. It's actually completely bricked in back here and you can see the original wood siding down at the bottom. Speaking of siding, this is what we're going to be addressing today. We've determined that what's been happening here is the disconnected gutter above and the clogged gutter below has caused water to, to uh, drain down the wall and then collect down here and flood and it's destroyed the wooden siding and allowed water to get behind this metal flashing and leak down through the roof into the garage below. This is just going to be a temporary fix. We knew when we bought the place that this corner of the house is completely compromised and is going to need some serious work. But for now what I'm going to do is I've collected some corrugated metal from elsewhere and I'm just going to be wrapping this corner and going down the side of this wall as far as I can get. Here's the metal rod from the top and here it is from the bottom side so you can sort of see how the cubby that sticks out on top of the garage roof was actually built on top of it which is kind of a interesting choice. Car guy just dropped by. Insurance is going to run around $300 for the year. And just to reiterate one more time, this is the worst part of the house for water damage. So once we get this fixed temporarily and then fixed correctly, this will be such a huge weight off our minds. All right, well, Evan is back up on the roof. I just want to show you what I did yesterday. Since the fuzz and sparkles and plaster that I was scraping off this wall is the same color as the wall itself, it's really hard to show you what all I did, um, so I'm just going to show you the aftermath here so you, can, so you can see for yourself. So all of this was scraped off the wall, and this is what remains. This was not easy work. Once I got started and was covered in sparkles and dust, I asked Evan if he would do the guest house cleaning for me yesterday because I got part way through and realized I didn't want to spread this out over a couple different work days. I just wanted to power through and get it all done at once. So this took me between six and seven hours to do this long wall and then part of this short wall. Here's Evie's patch job. What do y'all think? Here's all the metal we pulled off the roof. Oh yeah! Wonder what these will fetch at the scrapyard. So it's pretty wild to me that all of this damage was caused likely because this downspout here from the top part of the roof was not connected 
at the joint where it meets there, you can see where the damage has been done to the wall. So all the water from the roof was just flooding directly onto that wall, going down here, and then this bottom downspout wasn't working, so this was just a stagnant puddle from this waterfall up here. This is a closer look at the downspout where it wasn't connected. You can see the damage that was done to the wall there. That damage exists on the inside of the house as well. Next step is to seal up the window because it looks like there might be a little bit of moisture coming in around the edges. She's a beaut. Getting more waterproof by the minute. This is Bosco's favorite spot to look over the wall. One of the neighbors walked by yesterday and even with my limited Japanese I was able to tell that she was asking where Bosco was. She was saying where where is your dog and I said he's in the house. And she said when she walks by, he peeks over the fence right here to say hello. And I told her his name is Bosco. And she said he was very cute. All right. Can't even tell it's there, <laughs> if you ask me. Well, uh, it's going to rain in about a week, according to the weather forecast. So we're going to see uh, how it holds up before we get to painting the inside. Um, thanks for coming along with us on this exciting uh, renovation adventure. This has been Benton Homestead and we'll see you next time.